I'm Colin Singer, immigration lawyer and managing partner of Immigration.ca. Canada Immigration News Articles, November 2014. Ten Reasons to Cheer Canada's Economy. The Bank of Montreal's chief economist says the Canadian economy offers plenty of positives despite what the Bank of Canada says. In a report released recently, Douglas Porter says, by many metrics, Canada has long since returned to normal. In fact, we may look back on current conditions as the good old days. Here are 10 reasons to appreciate the current economic climate, according to Mr. Porter. 1. At 6.5%, the jobless rate is at its lowest level since 2007. 2. Consumer spending has improved, with car and truck sales more than likely to surpass last year's figures. 3. The housing market is unstoppable, especially in Toronto, Vancouver, and Calgary. Canadian home prices should rise by 5% this year. 4. Household debt is at par with record levels, but so is net worth when measured against disposable income, or $5.40 in assets for each $1 of debt. 5. The federal government is successfully dealing with the deficit head-on. 6. While globally the developed world struggles with inflation, in Canada it is on target at 2%. 7. In all likelihood, Canada will experience a trade surplus in 2014. 8. Financial conditions are stronger than in the past 15 years due to low interest rates, tight bond spreads, the sinking Canadian dollar, solid house prices, and favorable lending conditions. 9. Business sector labor productivity is up by 3.3%. And 10. Labor management peace has led to the lowest days lost to labor disputes since the mid-1960s. Despite these positives, Mr. Porter does believe that the state of the economy is hardly blemish-free. Canada needs more full-time jobs, higher pay increases, a smaller current account deficit, and a better showing from the provinces on balancing their books. The Republican-dominated House of Representatives recently passed a bill that would approve construction of the Keystone XL pipeline. Keystone XL gets Canadian oil to world markets, and the Republicans, emboldened by big gains in last week's midterm elections, have chosen to make Keystone into its first battle of wills. Meanwhile, Canada's manufacturing sales climbed 2.1% in September to $53 billion, to mark the eighth increase in nine months, Statistics Canada revealed. September's gains were driven largely by the transportation equipment sector, without which factory shipments would have been up just 0.6%. Source, The Globe and Mail. 